Hey guys, AP Gaines here, and today we're going to be going over how to set up a Grand Arena defense. <laughs> Alright, now as you can see, we're going to click on our opponent here. We're going to see his best squad is a CLS Rebel team. Now this team is going to be pretty powerful, and it doesn't look like he has too much else. He has a little bit of a Rogue One team, that's interesting. Definitely have to look out for that, and Zeta's on Mother Talzin could make that a challenge. Now let's go back, and let's check out his ships. Ships are a little bit underwhelming, so I think what we're going to do is do a strong ship defense to prevent him from getting through. That should work out just fine. Now if we switch over to stats, scroll down, we see he only has three championship full rounds cleared. It's only three full clears. Zero undersized. Let's see. 30 defense to only 41 offense. That means he is going to put most of his best teams on defense, so we are going to have to look out for that. This is going to be the fleet defense we're going to put on. Um, this should prevent all of his ships from getting through, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. This is going to be our top zone defense. This should give him some trouble with Stormtrooper Hans Taunt and Chewbacca assisting on Commander Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. We're going to place our standard front wall empire team with Vassal Sean Fallen. As you can see, Grandmaster Thon, Darth Vader, and Perpalatine will make up our core, and Grand Moff Tarkin and Vassal Sean will give some extra debuffs. We're going to place our Padme team on defense, hopefully to prevent the full clear. This should work effectively at this level. It has been pretty effective in the past. Alright, as you can see, we have our full defense placed. This is going to be pretty effective, I would assume. Um, this is AP Gains, and if you guys are feeling generous, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.